Okay, so how are you this morning? Good morning, teacher. How are you? Fine, what about you? Fine, I'm great. Excuse me? Oh, it just, uh, I don't know. I couldn't hello? hear you. Hello, hello? Now, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Sorry. Ah, no, I, I say that I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. Okay, okay. <laughs> so finally Friday, right? Yes. Yes. It's Friday <laughs> at the end. Yesterday, and, I, and I'm happy because yesterday um, we received a, a email from a university mm -hmm. and uh, they they uh, let us know uh, the date for our graduation mm, really yeah, yeah we, we, we were we were waiting for that the day so yesterday we we sent us a, an email and and well I I I already have uh, when when will be my graduation. <laughs> Good, and when when is it? It's um November third. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. you have time to get ready. <laughs> yeah, obviously, <laughs> totally. Okay, very good. And what did you study? Uh, I study business administration. Mm, okay, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. good. Well, so, unfortunately, I won't be with you, right, on November. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations. I know that it's a long process, right? And it's hard many days, many Bye. times. <laughs> Yes, I hope you enjoyed that day. Ah, well, yeah, ah, yeah, you you already graduated, right? Yes, the previous yeah. month. <laughs> Wait, yes, last sorry? month. Hmm? When, sorry? The previous when, Yeah, when did, when did you start? When ah, did you graduate? Ah, uh, from US. Ah, that was, ah, yeah, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah, um, but, uh, and then, when, when was your graduation? Was the previous month, on July. Um, it was at the end. It was recently. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, oh, in July, okay. All right, congratulations, teacher. <laughs> Thank Michael, you. right? Yes, exactly. Okay, I'm so cute. <laughs> it was so recently. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. And then I think two two weeks after I think I started with you. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. But yes, yeah, it was recently. And um, um, are you thinking that uh, study a uh, MBA or a master. Uh, are you thinking about that? Yes, I would like to do it, but probably not here. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking some options. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, I I have uh, seen some of them. Let's see, on Spain and in Canada. Oh, in Canada. Mm -hmm. Well, it, ah, well, if you if, if you study a master in in Canada, <laughs> the classes will be in English. Yes, exactly. But obviously, that's not a problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> but the process is so long because you have to do. I was looking information, and you have to do like two exams, and you have to present two exams, and well, of course, you have to pass both <laughs> just to apply. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, just yes. to apply. Just to apply, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you start like with a real process. Mm -hmm. But okay. it's it's in a different, let's see, 
maybe I will able to apply the next until the next year. Because this one, they started they start the process on September, I think. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, and I still have to validate uh, my degree. Uh -huh. And it's not going to be on time, I think. <laughs> well, maybe the next time. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Do you want to study something else? Well, I, uh, currently I am waiting for starting a, a course mm -hmm. uh, at UCA. Uh, it's about a purchasing process and negotiation because that uh, that's my job, uh, my my current job. So maybe I would like to to study a master or or something like that uh, related to to process logistics, uh, purchasing process and. and uh, maybe something like that. So at at UCA right now, they they public uh, an information about a course about about that the negotiation and purchases. Um, I may apply, but I um it, it's it's sponsored by Insafor, so I I am just waiting the 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 day to start because uh, yesterday they changed because we well they didn't uh, got uh, they, they didn't get the minimum per uh, people mm -hmm. to uh, start the course so uh, they changed the day and i suppose we will start on Oct uh, in october so mm -hmm. i i'm just waiting and I and I will try that course and maybe I after that I I will be look for for a master maybe. Okay, very good. Yes, that will be awesome. Also, well, I don't know if you have look information for that. Well, because your career and mine, they are kind of related, right? Yes. So, I have seen a lot of that will be interesting for you in Spain. And nowadays, because of the pandemic, right, we have the opportunity to study, uh, like, oh, how can I say it? Like the whole course online. And just like mm -hmm. the final evaluation, you have to go to the country and do the exams. But then the certification is like you study there. Mm, but I uh, have I go to Spain or not? Not right. Yes, at the end, just it's like oh, to take the oh, exam. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I, ah, yeah, it's it's true that this kind of certification is only one exam, right? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. be well, yes, I, I have heard about, I, I have listened about about those certification in Spain, but I, I I have to, I have to search more about it. Mm, okay, okay, and yeah, uh -huh, it's it's just like that. You study here online, and mm -hmm. well, everything, all the process is online. And um, you took the classes too, the exams are online, and just like the last one that is like the biggest, uh, that will be mm -hmm, there. And well, you have to to try <laughs> to take the last exams, and it depends, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that I applied to a uh, an intercom. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, an in, in, no, it's not interchange. Exchange. Inter exchange. Interchange. Uh, that would be, no, interchange. Yeah, uh, an intercambio, uh, mm -hmm. exchange. 
challenge to have a class in about the career in in another language because well it's both right you have to understand what are they saying so you try to focus a little bit more and pay attention and also you have like the technical uh, expressions that you use in the career so yes it's like a challenge but no you can do it so and be afraid if you want to apply into uh the english a university that would be good you can do it <laughs> okay good let's see michelle hello good morning good morning how are you today uh pretty fine pretty fine here uh today is friday i hope <laughs> today uh will be a i hope a, a relaxed day i hope i am not sure because uh Two minutes ago, I was checking my mail and uh, <laughs> you have have a lot to, of <laughs> yeah, we have to several things to resolve. <laughs> okay, so well, I hope you have a quiet day. Yeah, <laughs> <Quite> <laughs> Friday. Mm -hmm. because well, for some sometimes yes, it's quiet, but sometimes yeah, you have. Well, at least in my case, it's the same. I have more <laughs> to do, more things to do on Friday. But yes, well, I hope we'll be quiet. Okay, let's see. So, well, we're going to start with this vocab expansions. It's like to avoid to use some expressions with adjectives and try to change that expression for another adjective. Let's see. Okay, if you want to eliminate berry, okay, the crop is berry B, which will you use? We have three options. Um, um, huge. Huge. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 It's in this case, it's just to avoid, right? To use berry because most of the time we always use like those type of expression and we have more options, more adjectives to, to describe something and it's just one word and it sounds more um, advanced. Hmm? Now, what about very small? Tiny? Tiny. Tiny, yeah. Yes. Tiny. tiny. No, very bad. Very bad. Is, um, no, it's not awesome or awful or okay. a little bit okay. um, awful? awful. Yeah. Awful. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's awful. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> very bad, it's awful. Yes. Very good. Amazing. 
delicious. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, exactly. Now, very hot. Boiling? Boiling, I think. Boiling. Yeah, it's boiling. Now, the day is very cold. Chilling. Is it chilling? Yes. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Exactly. Very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hylius. Oh, Hylius. 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 Good. Well, very happy. Trillo. 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 Who is Trillo? Trillo. Yeah. Okay. Very sad. <laughs> depressed. Depressed. <laughs> depressed. <laughs> this this type of dogs all the time look like that. <laughs> like if they are sad. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now let's see. What about various pigeons? Yeah. Unique. It's unique. Oh, yeah. Where yes. War? War. Yes. Mm -hmm. War is the is the bear on fast bicycle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case it's adjective. Oh. But it's okay. the same. Mm -hmm. it's yes. Fast bicycle. Yes, and it's subjective. Yes. Now, very important. Essential. essential. You call essential. Very hard. So. 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 Mm -hmm. That would be with F, like a, with letter F for the end. Tough. Tough. Mm -hmm. Tough. Very scared. Terrified. It's terrified. Okay. Now, very old. Ancient. 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 Mm -hmm. Ancient. Now, very strong. Mm. Powerful. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very expensive. Pricey, pricey, pricey. Yes. Mm -hmm. How how could you how can I pronounce that? Pricey. 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 Mm -hmm. Pricey. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now very smart. Genius. Genius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah. It's fascinating. Exactly. Okay, very good. So that's the purpose of all of them is like to avoid, right? To use very, 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 very. Because yes, we can like they are intensifiers. I know that we can use it with adjectives. But if you can use another expression to use it, another adjectives to describe. That will be better. And that's how you improve your vocabulary. Okay, good. So let's go back to this one. 
And well, yesterday in the last part of the class, we had habits, right? That are destroying our confidence. And now I told you that I wanted to show you how to avoid it, right? How to change that. But tell me, which habits do you remember that destroyed our confidence? Which one do you mention? Um, you care a lot what the people think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was one. Uh, negative thinking. Thinking. Negative thinking. Uh, social media lining. Mm -hmm. Living. Yes, exactly. That was another problem. Social media living, negative thinking, you said it. Um, you care too much about what other people think. What else? Uh, well, uh, blame, blame game. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you know, our favorite uh -huh. sport, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, the banking, terminating. You said the bar. Uh -huh. You said the bar. Uh -huh. You think that you you cannot say anything you, or you don't have anything to say to mm -hmm. a discussion and you dismiss compliments. compliments. Yes. Okay, so now I want to show you this one that they are talking how to be confident, like how to change these. And well, let me open and let me know if you can listen to the, the audio. Can you listen? Uh, no. 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 Oh, let me see. Share, share. Yes, was pause. Okay. Frozen up. What about? Or felt a sudden yeah. urge to leave. Yeah. Okay, good. Hey, Psych2Goers, have you ever entered a room full of unfamiliar faces and frozen up or felt a sudden urge to leave? For some people, confidence, which is when you feel self-assured and know that you can face any uncertainty, doesn't come easily. So with that said, here are six ways to appear instantly more confident. Number one, face your fears head on. Do you stop yourself from taking part in a new experience because you feel scared? Feeling afraid of something dangerous is your mind's way of protecting you from harm. But your brain can also delude you into feeling fearful over harmless things too, like public speaking. Allowing fear to overcome you stops you from fully realizing your dreams. Confidence doesn't grow from inaction, but from being able to make a move despite the fear. Number two, embrace failure. Are you hard on yourself when you make a mistake? Failure is the stepping stone to success. No one ever becomes a master at something before becoming a beginner. And being new at something entails failing at something once, twice, even a hundred times. By accepting failure, you'll learn what works and what doesn't, giving you more confidence in the decisions you make. Don't allow failure to stop you from trying. Number three, speak with clarity. Do you speak quietly or maybe too fast? The way you speak is one way that can make or break how you look in front of others. By bumbling, muttering, or trailing off, listeners may not buy into your words, which could lead to doubt about what you're trying to convey. Take the time to say your words slowly and clearly. Practice articulating your words, and maybe even listen to an audio recording of yourself to get a feel for how you speak. Number four, mind your body language. Are you mindful of how you present yourself in front of others? Your body language plays a big role in how you project confidence from the way you stand to the position of your hands. Are your arms crossed? You may come across as disinterested. Is your foot facing away from the speaker? Some may think that you wanna leave the conversation right away. Instead, you could perhaps follow some positive, approachable and self-assured behaviors such as maintaining appropriate eye contact and mirroring the other person's body language naturally. Number five, question your doubt. Have you ever thought you weren't good enough? Doubt is one way of protecting yourself from the pain of failure, but it also leads to inaction. 
Doubt can come in the form of limiting beliefs like I'm not good enough or I keep messing up. Notice those feelings and question why they came up when they arise. It may be easy to look at the bad side, but by focusing on positive outcomes, you can trick your mind into believing that doing that scary thing may be achievable after all. And number six, take a deep breath. During a tense moment, you may activate your fight, flight, or freeze response. This can cause you to unknowingly hold your breath or speed it up. When you realize your breathing has changed, do your best to calm down. Notice your breath. Start by inhaling deeply, then move it to your stomach as your diaphragm expands. Then exhale out. If you're alone, you can try breathing exercises to boost your overall mood too, which can help clear your thoughts and bring them back to the present moment. So, have you learned new ways to become more confident? Yay. So, at the end, they mentioned six, right? Yeah, six. Okay, good. So, let's see. Well, the first one was say your fears. What do you think? Yeah, I think always break the ice uh, is the difficult part, but then everything is more easy. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It comes easy. So, yeah. Like the first concept is difficult. It's like when you say do it, you're afraid, but it's important to do it, right? To face your fears. Hmm? Because when you don't know something, it's, it's normal. It's completely normal to be afraid of doing something. Okay, Paula, what do you think about this? Face your fears. Face your fears. Mm, well, I, I think I agree with myself. Uh, I think until you don't face your fears head on you will uh, you will not know what uh, what you are able to do so face your fears <laughs> <laughs> okay good do you remember the second uh, yes, embrace embrace failure. Yeah. Okay, tell me, what do you think about this? Well, maybe I I didn't understand this. Uh, this is related when we have some mistakes and mm. so at the end it's okay have mistakes we don't have uh, to know everything mm -hmm. we need to learn and I don't know in a plaudo I hear sometimes a, a, a phrase it's like if you fail fast, you learn fast, and also you can improve fast. So I think this is related with, with that, embrace your failure. This is the opportunity to, uh, to learn and to be better, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Because, well, Sometimes we don't want to commit any mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not good. Nobody of us is perfect. So it's, it's impossible to, to say that you're not going to have mistakes. So exactly. It's like embrace your failures. It's like, well, accept them. They are good. If you learn from them, if you try to not repeat it, right? <laughs> because that is the idea too. <laughs> Try to, right. to avoid yeah. it again because if you do it the same, it's like 
okay, you're not learning, right? And well, it's not mandatory. It could happen again because, well, we need it. Like there are just um things that you learn during the past. And yes, I have listened to that phrase too. But yes, it's important to accept them, to accept too that we are not perfect, right? Mm -hmm. And we can commit mistakes. <laughs> so it, it's part of the life also to have them because we are humans. All of us have it. Okay, Paul, what do you think? Um, well, I have never listened to the phrase. <laughs> Okay. But I, uh, at Aplauro, I have learned, uh, I have learned that too, because uh, everyone, uh, everybody uh, can make a mistake and it's okay, no problem. And I, and I think uh, it's important learning from your mistakes because uh, those help you or that help you to get better. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. That helps you. It's, I know that sometimes it's difficult, right? Because I don't know about you guys, if you had had the opportunity, because, oh, well, let's see. Paula, here in Plaza is your first job, or no, it's not. My formally, my full time job, job mm -hmm. uh, yes. But yes. before, before Aplauro, I was in degree, but it was an internship. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. And Michelle? Uh, no, this is my, in Aplauro, it's my second job. It's your second, okay, okay. So this part, when, well, we are trying to accept that we commit a mistake. I think that it's easier when our boss is a leader. What do you think about it? When he's not rude, he's not just a boss, the, well, typical okay. boss that is... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, it's... Uh, I think that is very important. For example, in my first experience, uh, I have the bless, I think, because it's a bless, Mm -hmm. uh, that my boss was my leader. Uh, she mm -hmm. teach me a lot of things. And, and when I started to, to work, I was, I think I was very young. <laughs> and I don't, uh, I didn't know anything about the real world. Mm -hmm. and, world. and so, so she, she she teach me a lot of things, and I think uh, maybe she she teach me to see that it's okay have mistakes, and and I think I try to. She's like my mm, model. She's my role model, model, and and I want to try to be like her. And 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 that is not just in my first job. Also in Aplauda, I think, or oh, a lot of things that she teach me. I. I use now mm -hmm. oh yeah that's that's really good when we had that as you say the blessed to have a a good boss that is not just the typical boss that just want to give you right <laughs> yeah things to do mm -hmm. they they become that one as you say your mentor your leader so one that you admire and you want to follow their steps yes that it's that's important. And if you have the opportunity and to be in charge for people to become a boss in any of the areas that you work, try to be like that. <laughs> because it's really bad. I don't know if you well, I hope no, right? But if you had the opportunity to be with a bad one, 
No. 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 A bad boss. Like a uh, so rule, they were screaming when you commit a mistake. They don't give you like in in, in my last internship, if he uh, he's not my boss, it, uh, but he's <laughs> like my co-worker. Okay. And and there's a a, a man who, uh, with a uh, a terrible temperament, I think, mm -hmm. <laughs> or a bad attitude. So yeah, I, I remember one day he he is uh, he is made it up. Mm -hmm. uh, he is, it's cream. It's cream. Mm -hmm. So and I was like, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. But, in, but in my currently jobs, uh, well, I think in a plot of that does that doesn't happen. Okay, that's good. Uh huh. It's it's common most of the time to find people like that <laughs> that they cannot control their feelings and well, right? They act like that. And well, thank God you haven't find a job like that. But there are some of them. I hope you, you never have to find someone like that. But, well, it's just like to be careful, right? Nowadays, you have experience and you know that you shouldn't be treated like that, right? It's not okay. But some people, the first experience that they have, it's, it's hard. It's tough. Because they find people that, well, I don't know what are the causes. It's not they're good but yes this one it's easier when we have a boss that is a leader that help you to that specifically what you say michelle that help you to understand that mistakes are okay mm -hmm. that is not something bad and well that is it. now what was the next one do you remember it's, it's with clarity mm -hmm. Tell me, why? Why is it important to speak with clarity? Mm -hmm. Because in that way, uh, people can understand you. Mm -hmm. um, and in, uh, well, in any way, uh, speaking with, uh, with clarity helps you to uh, that give you more confidence mm -hmm. in, in yourself. Yes, it gives you confidence and also make you feel relatable. Yes. And what about the body language? What do you think, Michelle? What about the body language? Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's it's important because, uh, well, no. Now in this, um, in this remote uh, way, it's a little complicated. But when you uh, be when you are face to face with someone, um, you have to be conscious about uh, your body language and, and all that that kind of things because you also transmit the message with that it's not just saying the things it's it's also the the way of you transmit with all your body because for example yesterday the 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 video with the guy in his uh, presentation the first time um, he, he he was a little shy he don't he didn't um, use the contact eyes 
I uh, so all that kind of of things I think uh, matters at the end of the day. So yeah, we have to we have to be mm, we have to take that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. That's completely true because all the movement movements that you have while you are giving your speech. Yes, it's like they mentioned something in the video, mirroring, because all the rest, uh -huh, the people that are that is there, uh, are there, sorry, um, they start to imitate you, right? And that's why you transmit the confidence. So I just like try to have a contact to feel confident, to stand up in front of them. Sometimes it's difficult, but it's, just to try it, right? Do not hand cross. It's not a good one because it, it feels like you are not open to questions. And mm -hmm, well, basically that one. And yes, that's why. Then, well, I think that this one is an important too and we don't pay attention most of the time. <laughs> what do you think? Take a deep breath. <laughs> Yeah, it's important. <laughs> um, in my in my place, in my spot, in my in, in San Salvador, I have a postic uh, in the wall, and the postic uh, the breathe because uh, sometimes I think we. Uh, we lost that in our mind. So uh, maybe the meeting is complicated or we are so stressed because we have a lot of things to do or uh, something to, to deliver to our client, to our boss, uh, also to our team. And I don't know, we maybe, the only thing that we need in that moment is breathe. Take mm -hmm. a take a moment and breathe and try to put our minds in blank and, and try to organize all the the thoughts that we have. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's important and we forget it. All the time we forget it. It's important. like you have to, uh -huh, you just want to keep going with the situation and sometimes it's necessary, like take some minutes, just breathe, right? Okay, Paula, what about you? What do you think of this one? Taking a deep breath um, helps, helps you to to keep calm, I think. And, and I think um, sometimes uh, you have to keep your uh, keep calm, keep calm, because, well, overall, if you are at work, because you have to, um, you have to hold a uh, a professional appearance and um, and you have to be professional in the, in, in those places and mm -hmm. take a deep breath it uh, also helps you to to be relaxed and clean your mind so and and that helps you, helps you to uh, don't don't be stressed Mm -hmm, exactly. It's like you say, well, you you have to keep on mind, like, have you ever listened to the expression, hold your horses? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just like that, one, right? Hold your horses. You have to keep calm, take a deep breath, and then you will able to continue. Yes. Okay. Well, yesterday we identified that one of the biggest problems that all of us have it is 
overthinking, right? Things, and now I want to show you this one. Some things that we can do to stop overthinking. I think it's difficult because we are used to do this. I don't know why, but it happens most of the time. Or it's like the huge problem. Okay, let me open this one. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you Round. See? Do you ever wish your mind could yes. Yes. rein but in those horses? There are decisions in life that require extensive deliberation and thought, such as moving to a different country or accepting a life-changing job. Despite this line of logic, everyone has suffered bouts of overthinking. The only difference is that some eventually come up with a decision while chronic overthinkers are plagued with questions and doubt. You rehash previous conversations, relive past events, and imagine catastrophic outcomes. If you are an overthinker, your mind can feel like a never-ending movie of horrible possibilities. This is debilitating in more ways than one. Not only does it exhaust you mentally and produce anxiety, along with many other health issues, but it also prevents you from moving forward. So here are 10 ways to stop overthinking. Number one, become aware. Is running a negative mental commentary second nature to you? If so, it's a habit that you might not be aware of. So the first step to tackling overthinking is to become aware of it. Grounding yourself in your body is a great way to gain awareness. A popular grounding exercise is the four, seven, eight breathing technique, which involves breathing in for four seconds holding your breath for seven seconds and letting it go slowly for eight seconds. Other techniques are touching an item and really feeling its material weight and temperature and putting your hands in water. Becoming self-aware is the first step to changing your mind. Number two, focus on productive problem solving. Do you get wrapped up in the possibilities of what could happen? Do you busy yourself with solutions for a problem you have not yet encountered or perhaps might not encounter? This type of thought pattern is an example of unproductive thinking. Some examples of unproductive thinking are, if I do this, then this, usually something negative, will happen. Or why does this always happen to me? Unproductive thinking usually starts with fear. Hence, it transforms into a loop of negative thoughts that serve to instill doubt. When something goes wrong, instead of wondering why, ask how. Asking how shifts your focus on what can be done now and helps you be more productive. It changes your perspective and helps you focus on what can be done. Number three, schedule some self-reflection time. Sitting in a stew of your own problems is not productive. It is time consuming and never yields positive results. However, making time to reflect can help you see and think about things from a different perspective. It affords you time to assess pitfalls in your plans and how you can do better. It also serves as a mental boundary. If something goes wrong, your instinct may be to run through and see where you failed. However, having a set time to go through and assess what went wrong prevents you from making hasty decisions. Number four, change lanes. Did you know sometimes your brain practices reverse psychology on you? The more you tell yourself not to do something, the more you might find yourself doing it. The same goes for overthinking. Whenever you find yourself overthinking, it's always a good thing to try and get out of your head. It surely can be a scary place sometimes. By distracting yourself with, for example, a hobby or exercise, it'll not only make you feel happy doing something you enjoy, but it will put a stop to that stream of negative thoughts. Number five, look at the big picture. Are you focusing too much on something that isn't even gonna matter in a few days time? Whenever you find yourself overthinking about something, ask yourself this, will it matter five years from now? Will it matter a month from now? The chances are that it won't. Life is always changing. Asking yourself such questions helps put things into perspective and gives you a new approach. Number six, learn mindfulness. Does it feel like you run on autopilot? When you spend most of the time racing in your brain, it leaves you feeling less aware. Your surroundings take a back seat when your thoughts ride shotgun. Achieving mindfulness does not occur overnight. It requires practice. 
There are many books, apps, and courses, and other resources that can help you become more mindful. Practicing mindfulness is a great way to ground yourself in the present. You will be fully attending to what's happening, to what you're doing, to the space you're moving through. By practicing mindfulness over time, you will notice that you overthink a bit less. Number seven, do away with perfectionism. Perfectionism can be a sign of lingering fears and it often leads to overthinking. You become perceptive of your actions and how others might perceive them. Perfectionism narrows the scope of your actions, your thoughts, and your future. It renders you unproductive and incapable of moving past your problems or failures. When you find yourself wanting to be perfect and start to overthink things, remind yourself that done is better than perfect. Number eight, accept your best. Are you always pushing yourself to cover that extra mile? Do you ever give yourself a break? Practicing compassion helps you move past your mistakes and let go. When you become attuned to your emotions and their accompanying physiological cues, you can spot when you need to take a break. By acknowledging your feelings that arise during that moment and saying positive affirmations, you can encourage compassion for yourself. Number nine, be grateful. Gratitude helps you gain perspective. Sometimes many problems are not as terrible as they seem. Gratitude opens possibilities for acceptance as well as growth. It can also prevent you from falling into a pattern of negative thinking. And number 10, acknowledge your success. Picture this, you find yourself amid an overthinking barrage. So what do you do? During that avalanche, remember to take a moment to write down on a piece of paper five things that went well. For example, you cleaned your apartment or stuck to your budget. The accomplishments on your list do not need to be grand, but looking at this list will make you realize that you've succeeded, even in the small things, more than you have failed. When necessary, refer back to this list to keep your thoughts from spiraling out of control. When life gets hectic and overwhelming, it's important to take a step back and breathe. Take a break from the constant information and racing thoughts and if necessary, ask for help. We hope we were able to give you some insight. In okay, so, well, we have some of right, the one that they mentioned at the end again, was this one, to take a deep breath. But beside that, which one do you remember, Paula? Uh, we think, uh, become aware and think that it was the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, oh, sorry? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then? Uh, our breath uh, focus on productive solving and function. Mm -hmm. she say making time to reflect and change plan mm -hmm. I didn't understand that because I don't know what is land let's and see oh, okay the one that say change lens uh -huh. it's like to Change the the path that you're following. That could be change mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, Michelle. Mm, uh, uh, schedule a self reflection time. I think that is important because mm -hmm. it's a time for us. It's a mm -hmm. time to. It's a personal time, and um, and I think. At the beginning could be a little difficult, but I think that is a very important uh, point. And, and I think this is connected with learn mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That because, is. Sorry? Uh -huh. Continue. Uh, this is connected, I, I think maybe two years ago, I, I read the 5 a.m. the 5 a.m. book. It's a, it's a book of Robin Sharma. And 
he mentioned that the the powerful hour i think mm. this, mm -hmm. yeah this is the the first thing in the morning when you when you wake up uh up at 5 a.m he proposed that and uh, you have that moment to to have your your personal time to try to meditate to try to try to plan your day maybe do some exercise maybe pray uh but at the at the end it's a time when you can clean your mind and try to start in a great way i think the day and and this is a this is an habit so i think that point is about reflecting reflection could be in this line too and also this is related with the mindfulness that is i think be aware about the right the the, the present right the present. The, mm -hmm. yeah be be in the present mm -hmm. uh, don't be stressed about the future or don't be worried about the past mm -hmm. i don't know that sounds like a kung fu panda but at the end <laughs> <that is. laughs> But no, it is exactly. That's important because how many times we don't get lost thinking about the future, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end, you realize that anything, and that's related with overthinking. When you start overthink, you you create a lot of scenarios that never will happen because you're thinking the worst, right? And yes, I know that some sometimes we have to, right? Because it's not just to take a decision without thinking carefully. Just so you have to think about all the possible options. But it's like try to separate, right? Sometimes it's we have to because it's part of our job. In my case, in marketing, I have to do it too. <laughs> so I understand you. And because, yes, I have to know like how the, the target is going to react to any uh, strategy that we have. So it's part of, but I, it's like to try to separate it about your personal life, right? Yeah. And yes, mindfulness, that is the main idea of mindfulness, to help you to, to be aware about now. Yeah. Huh? And well, you cannot change the past, so it's just to accept it and try to continue. And if you did something wrong, try to do it better now. And well, the future, it's it's going to change we don't know it right what's going to happen so we have to of course have a plan for the future but try to stay here right in the present yeah yes, that's important okay and Paula, something else to add um no only only that i think um well, uh, I think uh, I like the 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 topic that he mentioned, making time to reflect. I mm -hmm. think sometimes we need a uh, a long time with mm -hmm. our uh, with ourselves, uh, because maybe you you should need. Uh, think about some things, uh, reflect, maybe take a look back to all that you that you have done, maybe in that week, <laughs> or for example, at the end of the year, in New Year, the the uh, people reflect about what what they have done all the year. <laughs> so I think making time to reflect is it, important for that. Yes, I'm trying to do it. It's important. Yes, as you said it. It is. Sometimes we don't take time for us, but it's important to 
Yes, do understand what you have in your mind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So, well, we're going to stop here for today. Um, I will share with you the guidelines for the last presentation this, this weekend. So you will have uh, oh, oh yeah. now. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I... I, I went to to ask you for that uh, for what, mm -hmm, for, for what are the the guidelines mm -hmm. for yes. the presentation. Okay, okay, good. So I will try it. Uh, I will try to do it today, I think, but yes, I can. And well, on Monday, that will be our last week. We're going to have classes from Monday to Friday too, but the last day we're going to take the time to pretend okay that homework that is the last one i don't know if the rest of of, the, of our classmates is going to join <laughs> but well <laughs> i hope so at least to present the last part the last activity excuse me send a message in mm -hmm. whatsapp group where they, uh -huh. they know that Yes, yes, I will, uh -huh, because they have to or present it that day or send it to me. Well, any. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So, well, we're going to stop here, guys. I hope you have a good Friday and hope you enjoy tomorrow, too. <laughs> and, well, I will see you on Monday. Thank see you. you have a happy weekend. You're welcome. Happy weekend. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you.